Hi, Scottish Mud Larkin here with Nicole and Craig. Today we've come back along to Tapor, otherwise known as the Costa del Claus. We're on our five weeks lead up to Christmas, so let's see if we can find some reindeers. We've come here to look for treasures so we can make some lovely new jewellery for our Etsy shop. I think is that in a gate there? Yeah, I think it is. Nice wee bit of uh, sea glass there, and the sun's just come out. Oh no, the sun's just gone away as well. <laughs> it's going into hiding again. Well, the sun's coming out and in today. Well, that's a nice wee bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really nice sea for me bit. Yeah. Chunky wee bit. I'll take that then. Okay, this is a bit like Where's Wally. There's a piece of blue glass in the shot just now. And it's it's kind of tiny and it's kind of not fair what I'm doing, but let's see if we can see it. I'll start walking very closely towards it. Can you see it? I can see it, yeah. Okay, yeah. You might actually be able to see it once, uh, once the lighting's all adjusted. We shall see. Oh, we're getting closer. Yeah, we're almost on top of it now. Mm -hmm. I can now see it in the viewfinder. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice wee bit of blue. Oh, that's a very promising start, isn't it? Nice, nice. That might make a really nice earring. I can see a really lovely piece of pottery and a piece of sea foam. So there's a bit of chunky sea foam there. That's really interesting because it's very different from the patterns that we tend to find in Kakodi. It looks more like it's a, well, like it's just a glaze, but it's really pretty. It's um, burgundy red and a bit of green here. Almost looks like a leaf. Oh, and it's yellow from the reverse. Now yellow is a really rare colour in pottery and I think I've probably only got a handful of yellow pieces, if not. Definitely going to take this. Looks like a leaf. Let's take this. Now I know Nicole's looking to find a few agates. I wonder if this one's the kind of thing she's looking for. It's not the kind of bright red ones that we see here quite a lot. I'll take that along and see what she thinks. Now this is unusual. We usually find red ones, sometimes different colours, but I don't think we've seen one of these things in quite such a vibrant green colour before. It's a shotgun shell cartridge. But that green colour reminds me of an elf's outfit. Well, I'm not having a great deal of luck here. Aside from that really nice wee piece of blue glass and a uh -huh. couple of other bits and bobs, uh -huh. I haven't found anything much to speak about. I have found a wee agate, so oh, I'll give okay. you that, and the one other sort of like kind of fantastic find that I've made. All right. This, this green shotgun shell cartridge. <laughs> and yeah, if you wonder why Nicole was just looking down, it's because I dropped the agate. <laughs> Let's see if we can find that first. Let's go get that. Okay, well, there we go. That's uh. I think my best find there, that wee blue piece of glass. Definitely, yeah, yeah. So far, there's that blue piece of glass. I found this stopper stem, which I'm really happy about. That's very cool. Yeah, a couple of really nice orangey agates and some with crystalline structures. Very nice. And I found this lovely piece of pottery and I'm taking it because it's so different from what we usually find. It really is, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely and it kind of reminds me of a leaf. Okay, well, yeah. Kind of a good start, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think we should get a little bit further along because that's where we usually find the best treasures. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Oh. 
I've annoyed the birdies. <laughs> I was going to say, we can expect a good few hours uninterrupted searching. Sadly not the birdies though, we've interrupted them. Let's see what we find in this wee cove. Uh, I think I'm going to dash off and try and take some nice footage. Oh, okay. I'll have a look over there then and see if I can find something nice. Okay, good luck. See you in a minute. Thank you. So, Craig's just away taking some really nice shots of the waves. And I'm going to have a look around in um, this tight line area. Because there's usually really nice things here found some lovely blue glass and some beach plastic here before. I've just spotted something blue here. Blue's always nice to find. Now, do you know what it is? I'm not really sure if it's bonfire glass, but I'm really intrigued and I'm going to take it. I've just noticed there's a piece of pottery here, and then I looked left and I'll take you with me, see if you can see it. Now we always get asked, how do you even spot tiny pieces of blue? And it's really tiny. And we're going to take this one. And we're also going to take this piece of pottery here. Kind of looks a little bit like it's a, a, got a lobster on it. Maybe that's just my imagination. Hmm. Quite a few things here in this little area. It's probably difficult to see. I'm going to sit down here. So here's a, probably a ginger beer bottle or any other type of Victorian stoneware jar. Really nice, this, these lines here. also see some glass here. This is a bottleneck. What else can we see? What else? Okay, it's this piece of pottery, plain pottery, and there's a bit of glass here. And, okay, reaching out a shot here. It's a lovely wee shell. Oh, and a wishing stone. Now, this one has two, nope, three lines on it, so I don't know if that's lucky or not. It's even got four lines on it. It's got to be quadruply lucky. But who knows? We're going to leave this one here. This little gift pile here. I've got another piece of glass here. And uh, we'll see if we can find something else a little bit further along. Oh, look at that. I'm sure you can see it. I thought it was milk glass from the distance. But it's actually... Half a stopper, half a lovely swing top stopper. Broken, I can't see anything on it. Let's see if I can bring it a bit closer. That's lovely. I love finding these little pieces of history. Um, the one that we found that we could actually see Robinson's and trace it back to the brewery in Dundee, that was really amazing. This one is also very nice, but we can't see where it's from. So I've come up here because I know that usually I find a smarty sled up here. And I've just spotted something down here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not even sure where it is now. There it is. Okay. It looks like it's plastic. Now this is plastic, but it's the most beautiful piece of plastic that I've ever seen. It almost looks like a little umbrella. Or like, a, you know, if it was glass, it would be an amazing little perfume stuffer. It is, however, plastic, but I'm sure it'll make a lovely centerpiece in one of our plastic pictures.
we are finding a few of these wee agates. It's, in fact, is that an agate? Yeah, I think it is. Pop that down there. At least we're finding some of these. And I know that Nicole's trying to collect some. So, that's a very pretty one. Very, very clear. Nice. Now, who would have guessed we come up into the tide line and we see something interesting? Now, I don't think it's very, 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 very special. I'm not sure. That's a really odd piece of glass, though. We'll pop that down there. But yeah, that's a nice wee piece of patterned pottery. Very unlike uh, a lot of the things we see. So obviously the inside is something. But this glass has such a weird shape. Let's see what Nicole makes of this. I've just passed a couple of pieces of glass there and as I was looking uh, along in front of the camera see this piece, quite a thick bottom piece here and just alongside that, this piece now that has a little bit of uh, writing on it, it looks like a G maybe a U or an L but I think I'll leave that one behind and we'll take this and we'll see if Nicole has any idea what this uh what this GU might be. Very thick piece of glass as well. Now I don't think this is an old one, but we so seldom find these that when we do, we have to make a bit of a big deal of it. It's so cool as a wee button. It's quite cool as a wee blue button. I'll put that on this rock over here so we can take a closer look at it. It looks to me like it's from maybe a child's garment. It's quite a small button. I'm not sure quite uh, quite what material it's made from. It could be plastic, most likely plastic. I found a cute wee button. Oh, me too. Really? That's so strange, yeah. Oh, is it the same kind? Now that would be really weird. <laughs> oh, it's how similar. cool. Yeah. This, people are going to think we're making this up now because I've just said we never find buttons and so when we do we make a big deal of it and then I pop this down here ah. but there's two buttons in one day, that's not oh, bad that's very cute, I think mine is older really? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> yeah, it looks older yeah. um, well, by older I mean knackered Yeah, but it looks both... a wee bit more broken up than mine yeah, but they're both plastic yeah, cute yeah. as a button cute as a button and it's plastic so it's off the beach very nice Oh, this is looking close. I think if we do get round here, we're going to be very lucky to do so with our dry feet. Okay, that's a little bit worse than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, we're going to have to climb over the rocks there. Look, this a bit blue. Can you see it? <laughs> it's not huge, but it's not tiny either. Ah, I'm going to move in and just, uh, yeah, let's see when you can see it. Oh, Nicole's helping. Big pointy fingers here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah it's it crystal clear now. Yeah, yeah. It really is a very, very dainty long piece, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to take that one. Now that's an interesting contour piece of glass. This piece here. Contour piece. Yeah, it looks like it has kind of cube. Oh, I'm not sure which side is uh, which. Oh. It's very, I mean, oh, is that safety glass? No, it's not. It's like it's a Coca Cola bottle, but it has the ridges on both sides. That's very, it's very unusual. thick. Yeah, that must have maybe been from like a, a precursor to the regular safety glass that would have had the uh, wire in it, and this one doesn't. Perhaps, yeah. Hmm. Do you know what I've also spotted? No. A really, really nice Ooh, little agate there. That's a beautiful one. It's really nice, isn't it? Really clear. Yeah. I'm going to put a couple in a jar. Yeah, why not? 
They look so good in jars. Yeah, so pretty. That wee piece of blue is really clear. Nice. Not at all frosted. And Nicole just pointed out this wee piece of milk glass alongside as well. Yeah, do you know that piece might have been from a milk of magnesia bottle because it's a lot lighter than the cobalt blue from yeah. poison bottles. Yeah, yeah, it's thin as well, so quite possibly a modern piece of glass as well. Hmm, yeah. Still, nice wee piece of blue, nice wee piece of milk glass. Yeah, for me. <laughs> now we've just spotted a wee nest of blues here. This is a much, much, much deeper blue than, uh, than the one we just found. There's also a wee bit of clear glass, but I've just covered the blue with clear glass. Now, I'm just going to scan over to where uh, the other blues are mm -hmm. and then what we'll do is we'll maybe put these all together and uh, I'll show Nicole what I've been finding and we'll take a wee, a wee round up of uh, where we are so far. Now this one's a much paler blue and uh, it's very shiny. I mean I suppose the other one was really shiny as well yeah. but this one's a much paler blue and I think much much, much, uh, much, much, I don't see how many muches can you say in one <laughs> sentence, Craig? I can say about 10, maybe maybe 15 at a push, but this one is uh, much shinier uh -huh. um, than the other piece, and very, very similar to that little piece that uh, Nicole reckoned might be uh, a bottle of uh, milk and magnesia. Yeah. So that's two. Let's see where number three is. Can you see that piece of blue? We can see Nicole's shoes. Uh -huh. so let's uh, I'll walk in. zoom in here a wee bit. Nicole's using uh, shoes instead of fingers to point this one out. <laughs> Ta -da! There we go. <laughs> and again, that looks like it might be uh, part of that same bottle then. Eh? Yeah, how strange is that? Well, it's a little light darker. Look, this is the one we just found. All right. Here. That's the other one. And I found this piece. I don't know if it's um, um, bone china, possibly. Yeah. But yeah, that's three pieces of blue in one go. Very cool. Yay, success. There's another bit of blue here. That's a really nice piece as well. It is, isn't it? That's very nice. I also noticed this piece of pottery that we also take. It seems to be a day for blues here. I think, you know, in the past we have found lots of tiny wee pieces of blue here. And that, oh, camera's yeah. taking a weird shot. And that's, that's a nice wee bit. Yeah, that's one of those tiny pieces. Pop that there. Not sure if that makes a great deal of difference. Mm. It's in focus though. Yeah, yeah. We have really found... nice deep blue piece. Yeah, we have found really huge pieces of blue here before as well. We have? Yeah, yeah. It was about this size. <laughs> <laughs> it's this big brother. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's see if we can find another bit like that. In the meantime, mm -hmm. we we'll have to be quite happy with the wee bits. Oh, is that a lovely piece of lavender glass there? Actually, it looks a little bit like milk glass and lavender. Let's take that. It's a bit of a, a bit of a Ooh, mixed bag. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's nice. There we are. I think that's probably the best. Apart from these wee blue pieces that we found, I think that's uh, uh, some of the best stuff I've found so far. Milk glass is good. Yeah, yeah. You know how much I love milk glass. Definitely taking that for my collection. And you found two agates. This really intriguing piece of uh, pottery. And um, is that a bottle bottom or top? Who knows? Looks Not like sure. the neck to me, but it's oh, right. weirdly wide, so like it got wider at the neck. Okay, end. yeah, might have been from a blacking bottle. Very nice wishing stone, you've got to make a wish later. And I really love this piece. Uh, it's a little grubby, but you can probably just make out that it says Andrew and Coop. So now, this all is. All I saw there was what looked like G U something to me. I couldn't see the other letters until it dried out, but they're quite clear now. Yeah, yeah. So it's St Andrews and uh, Cooper uh, from the from their old brewery. So, so this is a very old piece. That's very cool. It's really chunky as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely taking this one, the two agates, and that piece, and nice. you making a wish. Can you see it? Oh, isn't it lovely? 
There, there, there. It's UV glass. I'm pretty sure it's UV glass. It's kind of gleaming. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like it. Ah, see, I was right. It's UV. The torch is on its last legs. It might need a new battery. <laughs> yeah, but there's a wee bit of glow in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it. I can certainly see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Uh -huh. We'll take a picture of that when we get mm -hmm. home and I shall insert it over here. If it's not obvious now, it shall be later. Oh, cool. Well, that's a really chunky piece of sea foam just here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Like a bit of green just beside it. I think that's a bit of a bottleneck, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you can see just that little lip there. Such a lot of glass around here just now. Mm. Lovely chunky pieces. Even a bit pottery. Pretty much everywhere you put your hand down. Mm. Gorgeous sea glass. Yep, really nice. This is very cool. We're finding lots of really small pieces of blue today. And here's another piece, just there. That's got a wee angle on it. Or maybe a curve. So yeah, maybe the side of a bottle, something like that. Lovely. Well, it's a wee bit nicer being in the sun. You got a wee bit of warmth from that, but I'll tell you, that wind, it's icy. Oh, it's got a bite to it, doesn't it? It really does. Okay, let's have a wee look at the best bits that we've found today. Yeah. So, Nicole's setting out the finds, and I took a wee bit of a wander here, and lo and behold, it's another wee bit of blue. a really good day for wee bits of blue. We'll take that, we'll add it to our finds. Let's go have a look at them. Now I'm kind of encouraging Nicole to take her time <laughs> in setting up our finds for today because everywhere I wander I'm finding this blue sea class which is really cool. Do you know it strikes me that we should have probably come up here into the sun a little earlier than we did and then we might have found a lot more of this blue glass as well. But you know, well, we've learnt a lesson. I think we'll just come straight up here next time we visit this part of the coast. That's really nice wee piece as well. And not that wee. Well, there we are. That's some of the best things that we've found today. Or some of the nicest things. Now what I'm going to do before we start, I'm just going to add this wee piece of blue. Well, it's not that wee a piece of blue, is it? No. Nearly covering that uh, <laughs> that piece of clear glass there. Oops. Oops. Yeah, your best find. That's my best find of the day, mm -hmm. top find. Do you know, I think that's elf colours. <laughs> it's elf green. I'm going to call that one elf green. I'm also going to move around a little bit so that we can try and protect uh, the microphone from the wind to give you guys a better chance to hear what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you want to take us through what we found today then? Yeah, so as always we found quite a few bits of plastic, some really nice pieces and this piece I think is like a tiddlywinks piece. Alright. Then we found uh, a couple of really lovely agates and carnelian and lovely sea foam chunky pieces and you can see I've put it on uh, the lovely blue pieces, I've put it on the bottle bottom that we found. We have a wee bottle bottom of blues. Yeah, and there's that stopper stem I found. There's the buttons, so we found a button each. And this one that you haven't seen me find yet. <laughs> it's a half um, swing top stopper. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And that really lovely piece of uh, St. Andrews and Cooper um, bottle that you found and a couple of uh, milk glass pieces. Yeah, we've got milk glass there. Mm -hmm. The agates that we were looking for as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's maybe a little bit big to fit inside the neck of one of these little bottles that we've got. But we'll see what we can do. We've picked up another few gates. This is just a, a representative example of what we've been finding today. Yeah. But some nice finds. Yeah, yeah. Definitely some really lovely pieces and I think we're going to make some lovely jewellery out of these. 
very cool so yeah if you haven't ticked the bell for notifications tick the bell for notifications for Sunday's video when Nicole's going to be using some of these pieces to make some jewelry for a Etsy shop and I am going to be trying to figure out how we can turn this into an elf <laughs> okay you do that <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, liking and commenting on the videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do take a moment to subscribe to the channel. A huge thanks too to everyone who's helped support this channel through Kofi, Etsy and through Amazon. That really helps us continue to make these videos. Thank you so much.